G'day. Love my time in Broome. What a great place that was. Went from Broome to 80 Mile Beach. 80 Mile Beach to Cape Corodra. Cape Corodra, I went to Port Hedland. Port Hedland, I went bush for a couple of days and then ended up at Karajuni. What a great trip. Let's go. Here I am on Broome Beach, the absolute golden sands of Broome Beach. I love this place. You got all the sweeping panorama there of the ocean behind you. And in about an hour and a half's time, that sun will drop and it'll fall right behind the, uh, behind the ocean and give that beautiful sunset. Uh, I've got a uh, flock or a gang or a herd or a whole lot of camels just about to walk behind me. That's people doing the tour here on the uh, beach. We are up at Cable Beach. You've got two choices, two companies that do it. One's got the uh, red blankets over it and the other one's got blue blankets. And uh, I'm sure they're just as good as each other. Great lot of fun. And I really don't believe they do hurt the camels. So moving right along, you can probably see those camels clippity cloppeting, clippity cloppeting behind me. When I was riding one the other day, I noticed I was talking to one of the carers. When they stand, sometimes they get a little bit bored and they literally put their camel hooves and splash the water to splash up on themselves. So, there you go. What some camels will do to get their uh, jollies. Beautiful palm trees behind me. Very nice. Very much part of the uh, atmosphere. bit bright but well well here it is my absolute worst nightmare something I lie in bed thinking about at night time long distances and all you see is the horizon nothing else quiet empty solo a long way from anywhere
just turned off the main road onto 80 mile beach road and going down there to stay at a camping site. Apparently it's right on the beach, it's really good. It's not free camping, but it should be pretty good anyway. Apparently the giant turtles come in and lay their uh, eggs on the beach. So let's go and check it out. I just wanted to share this with you. I'm on 80 mile beach, or convert that over, it's about 130 kilometer beach. And it is just sand, 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 sand all that way. And all that way, it's just amazing. Um, apart from the beauty and the, just the sheer intensity of being, being able to appreciate this, in about uh, four hours time, the uh, turtles will be coming up this beach, or parts of this beach, and they'll be coming up to uh, lay their eggs. So I'm quite excited about that, obviously. It's in the dark and uh, it's on high tide because it's easier when the water's up close to the sand dunes. The sand dunes is where they lay their eggs. So I'm looking forward to that and hopefully uh, I can get enough light to show you that. So the turtles, um, having clambered their way up here, they will then attempt to uh, dig a nest once they hatch, they, they, the poor little guys have then got their tiny as they've got to climb from here and crawl all the way down into the yonder mud flats, which um, they'll usually do it on as the rising tide because it's less distance to, to waddle down to. These uh, that you're looking at, they're the turtles when they're going up the beach. And apparently I was speaking to a, an indigenous guy here who works for the wildlife uh, sanctuary people. And he said you can tell they're going up the beach because they're pushing that way and then they're pushing the sand that way and then and then these guys are going back down the beach because they're pushing the sand cupping it and pushing it the other way wow Good morning. Stayed here yesterday. Beautiful place. It is just literally God's own country. I arrived in uh, about high tide, so everything was looking pretty good. Hopefully this wind's not blowing your head off. Um, I read in wiki, wiki camps that it's meant to be fairly windy. I thought, oh well, yesterday if this is fairly windy, I think I can deal with it. Woke up this morning, I was so concerned the wind was so strong that I actually re-hitched the caravan to the car just in case it <laughs> wandered off down the countryside. Good morning. Oh, eight o'clock, oh, big sleep in. I've been fiddling and faffing this morning and just getting organized to uh, change of plans. I was gonna go to uh, Karatha, but I spoke to someone on the track and they said, great place to go down is uh, Karajini. <laughs> Too early in the morning, Karajini. It's a gentle breeze blowing here and maybe I have heard a bit of a rumor that is a bit of a Western Australian thing. 
it's a uh, better brace the kilt I guess and get ready for the trip so uh, that's about 350 kilometers from here down east going east and uh, let's just go I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to give it the old thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you did. And until next time, this is Paul Wheel Drive, signing off. Just turned off, at, just turned off the main road onto 80 meters. <laughs> I just wanted to share this with you where I'm on 80 mile beach and it's, uh, it is 80 miles or, uh, it's 80 miles in kilometers. 80 miles, 80, 80 miles. So 50 miles is 80 is 1.6, 80, uh, 640, okay.